hello everybody so in this tutorial uh, you will learn how to create animation in cfd post uh, people already know and many people are familiar uh, how to create animation in fluent but uh, for good quality video files or uh, analyzing the transient data we need to create uh, sometime animation in cfd post so uh, first I will describe the problem briefly uh, as you can see the geometry here and this is axisymmetric geometry so all the boundary conditions are also shown here like water and air inlet so this is two phase flow simulation and there are nozzle walls and uh, the outlet is pressure outlet so the liquid is coming out of this nozzle and it may form the spray and uh, there may be droplets and uh, may, maybe some something else some other regimes uh, will be there so so let me tell you the step by step procedure which we can follow to generate or create the animation so we need to just first display our uh, domain or geometry so i am just clicking on some options like general and display and uh, display your geometry and just close this window and then uh, I am assuming here that uh, you need help or you need to know the procedure for creating animation in CFD post so I am going to skip all other steps and focus only on the steps which is required for creating CFD post animation so click on calculation activities mm, yeah so click on automatic export and solution data export and here you need to select the name of automatic export you can choose any name here like I have chosen the name symmetry alpha for convenient and uh, you can choose the file type since we are going to work with cfd post we need to choose this particular file name cdat for cfd post and then you can select append the file name with and also the location here so location of all your solution file or cdat file so you can choose any location for this so and also you can choose whatever the name you want so I am choosing just the uh, symmetry alpha uh, to remember it name because this is two phase flow simulation and alpha is related to multi phase flow and here you can choose either time step or flow time so your file name will be modified accordingly uh, now you can choose surfaces and quantities here it is very important to know that if you select all the quantities it will take a lot of disk, disk space so to avoid that you choose only the quantities which you really want to analyze and also one important factor here that uh, you need to select the coordinate system which is very very important because your CFD post file or simulation need to know your coordinate system so you just select and export them also and just click OK and then initialize your solution uh, just click OK if you have some history otherwise this stage is not necessary and uh, you can run the calculation now and also this procedure solution animation is for uh, this solution animation is for the animation in fluent itself not for CFD post so I am skipping this uh, step um, because this is not related to CFD post animation and th then you can just run the calculation by selecting suitable parameters like time step number of steps and uh, number of time step and everything so currently simulation is running and it is saving the particular k data files or cdat files in this location so you can see all the data files and their corresponding size for each case and uh, then now you have to analyze this file in cfd post 
so here we have opened CFD post and now we have to know uh, we have to load the results so wherever we have saved those particular CDAT file we can go to those files and uh, we can select the data files from there and load here so I am going to that particular uh, location so here a very important thing is that we need to select the last data file which is created or according to date modified and the latest data file we need to select according to time step so here I am selecting the last data file which is basically created by this particular simulation so just select it and click on open uh, you can click just ok here and then uh, you can see if your animation or all the data files information available here or not so for that click on this option not actually this this particular option uh, which shows this timer or timing so here you can see different step like time step file and corresponding uh, time here so basically this means there your simulation runs properly and all the information is available here uh, uh, here you have to choose the time step animation so before this step I have missed one one small step to create the animation you have to create the contour first and accordingly that contour will be modified uh, according to your time step so choose some location and just show some contour so here I am choosing the volume fraction or LGNet volume fraction here because this is two phase flow simulation and uh, yeah so just click on display so this is the volume fraction So after this uh, particular step, uh, we can follow the other procedure. So here uh, you can choose time step or the second option. So I will go with the time step and also you can save your movie file or your video files. Uh, you can choose any location again here, whatever you want that should be convenient to you so since I have created all the files in this particular folder so I am choosing the movie location here for convenience and also you can modify this particular name and just close that option and now all the required steps complete here you can also choose the file format of your output output file or output movie file so I have chosen this AVI and these are some other advanced option uh, you can also select few settings here again again go back to this <coughs> yeah so the image or your video size and the quality of your video so this again depends on your requirements and also the image file format this is not much necessary here and you can also see one or two more options here but you can explore all the options and uh, can be creative and play with the options to see their effect on final video quality so I am choosing some high quality 30 frame rate here uh, you can just click on ok and then I think all the steps are covered and just click on this particular icon so your simulation will run and at the same time it is going to save your file so actually this was not a good example Sin since I have run simulation for only few time steps and the water or your LGNet which is coming from the inlet is not reaching to the outer 
or in your nozzle so it is very close to the inlet but I will show you very good example of velocity a little later so uh, before that uh, you can see your movie file and uh, choose your player and just see this video so we have successfully created this video since this was not a good option I am showing you some other option like velocity so instead of LG net volume fraction choose velocity display so this is the velocity and again you can follow the same procedure or similar parameters you can select for quality and then just yeah so I need to modify this uh, little bit so I am changing it slightly for convenience and you can choose any name here and uh, just click on that and now the animation files or your movie files is going to be created and you can also see animation here you can also save data from any time step you can take the snapshot here you can create the video i am going to show you video also so if you follow all this procedure uh, you 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 can able to generate the proper good quality animation in your uh, by using the cfd post and i i hope that you like the video and like all the procedures and uh, if you yeah you can see this animation so this is really good animation as compared to previous one so we have seen all the steps all the procedure i hope uh, you like this video and it if it is helpful to you uh, you can like this video and also share with friends and also don't forget to subscribe